Hey guys, so it is the 14th of December, so that means another update on my Finish 14 by February 14th. I'll go ahead and link down my other update and intro down below. So let's just get started. I'm just, just going to go back and show you guys the two products I have already used up in previous updates. So the first was my Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Fragrance. I started up here. The first update I was down here and I was able to finish that and then the other one I finished was my old Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This one I started right up here and then another update was here and then I was able to finish that. So for those two I forgot to, what I like to do in my project pans is when I finish one I'll put another item in its place to keep always working on like 14 products for this one. So I went ahead and added another perfume. This is the Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift Rollerball and currently I am right at that line. So this is a pretty good fragrance. I had a full size of this that I used up either earlier this year or last year and I have a rollerball and then I have another full size so I really just need to chuck along with the scent it's not my favorite scent anymore I think I might just be getting tired of it but yeah so that is where I'm at and hopefully I can finish it by February 14th and for that makeup setting spray I did purchase the Smashbox photo finish primer water I am gonna work on trying to use this this you spray on before your makeup and because it's a primer water um, I've used it a couple of times I purchased this around the VIB sale so I'm about right up there and I'm it's not one of my favorite things everyone was kind of raving about this but I just kind of want to use it up so I can get another Urban Decay setting spray okay back to some products that you guys already know so in my Too Faced The Little Black Book of Bronzers, I wanted to hit pan on two or finish one up, and that would count as one. So this is my, like, bronzer palette right now. So as you can see, I haven't hit pan on anything. Really, the two bronzers now that look like they have the biggest dips are this Milk Chocolate Soleil and Endless Summer. So hopefully I can hit pan on this Endless Summer coming up soon or by the end of February 14th. And then I wanted to also hit pan on two of my Urban Decay Naked Shades. I honestly this month have not really been reaching for this too much. So as you can see still looks pretty much brand new. I have been playing a lot with a lot of my other palettes so I really haven't given this that much love and yeah I actually just posted a what is it called? Pan That Palette 2016 helped me decide what palette to use. It's between this and two other ones that I'm going to try and pan in 2016 so make sure I'll link down that video down below and vote which one you would like to see me start panning different looks and stuff like that for 2016. The next thing that I have in it is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser and as you can tell I have done quite a bit of progress this month with this cleanser. I really like the smell of this. It has a nice orange scent. It's a very good like a scrub cleanser. I do like this and hopefully I'll keep working on that one. The next thing here is my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I did do a full review and demo using this product. I'll link that down below. But honestly, there was an air bubble the first time. So intro, I was up here the update before and then now I am down to there so really that was all of the progress that I had this month um, yeah I used it pretty much every day but there must have been a huge air bubble in the beginning that made me have like that much progress like seriously but I still really like this and be sure to look at my product review for this at the end of the video the foundation I have in here is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. The shade I have is 3.5. I started up here. First update, I was down there. And then now I am sitting pretty much about halfway. So um, 
That's about two months, so I should be able to finish this up by February 14th. The next thing I have here is a powder. This is my Maybelline Fit Me powder in translucent. I have hit major pan on this baby. And I should definitely be able to finish this up. This is currently my only powder that I have besides like my hourglass powders. So I am looking to get another like translucent powder after this. So I'm excited to finish that up. The next thing that doesn't have too much progress is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I started up here, first update, and then second update. So not too much progress as you can see, but I have been working on it. One item that I'm switching out, I did have the YSL number 12 Rouge Full Up Shine in this project. However, this color is more of a springy summer color and I just not didn't want to force myself to use this. It's a very expensive product. Yes, I do want to keep using it, but I don't want to have it in like a project pan or anything like that. So that one is going away, but I am trading it for this Maybelline. This is from the Max Collection. It's called Lust for Blush. And that's what it looks like and then I also drew on the cap it's sitting right about there so this is a really gorgeous creamy matte lipstick and I think it's perfect for the fall and winter so that's why I traded this out the next product is my Chi Iron Guard this is the thermal protection spray it has pretty much consistent progress I'm a little worried about finishing this up by February 14th, but I'm not going to trade it out. I'm just going to keep working on it. This one I have not touched. I need to just work, do this. I don't know why, but this is the Origins Charcoal Clear Improvement Mask, and I haven't touched it. So, as you can see, there was just one line, and I still haven't touched it. So, that stinks. And then the last product I'll share with y'all is my Bath & Body Works Paris Amore Body Cream. I started right up here, first update, and then now I'm down to here. So I've really been working on this body cream. I love this scent. It smells so good. It is definitely a more of a spring summer. It has fresh tulips, apple blossoms, sparkling pink champagne, and sandalwood with creamy musk. So I was so able to keep working on that. So that is my update on my finished 14 by February 14th. Let me know if you guys think I'll finish one, two products by the next update. Wish me luck and I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.